I'm Kurt and welcome to Here and Now. At this video you will learn the practice of Breath Awareness 1, the first step in the course. In this step you will start to gain awareness of your breathing process, the breath, how it affects your body and your mind, and specifically starting to gain awareness of the sensation of breathing. So what we're essentially doing is we are looking for an object to focus our attention on. This is this aspect of meditation that we will focus on today. And you can choose any one of your senses to focus on. So, your sense of sight, smell, touch, taste, sound. And we can also say that thought is a sense, um, because it is in fact something you sense. But a lot of these senses, these external senses, are very inconsistent in our day-to-day -day life. They are always changing, every single one of them. And more so um, are the senses of sound, smell, sight. These are really in a constant state of change and are dependent on external factors, generally speaking. And so we're going to choose the, the sensation of touch to observe. The touch sensation. Um, so, the feeling on your skin, for example, in, inside your body. And more specifically, we're going to focus on the the touch sensation that is caused by the natural breathing process as the air from the breathing process makes contact with your body. So um, we use this because this is a lot more consistent. You always have your breath with you wherever you go and if you don't then you have bigger problems than not being able to meditate. And so what we'll do is we're going to focus on the touch sensation that is caused by the breathing process where the air enters the body. And that can be anywhere around the entrance of the nose, inside the nose or below the nose above the upper lip. So this area over here. And this is a lot more consistent, a lot more meditative a little bit more hypnotizing <laughs> and a lot more rhythmic. It's easier to focus on repetitively for longer periods of time than, for example, something in your visual field. So we will do this. But first, we're going to start Breath Awareness 1 by moving our attention inwards and just observing any sensations in the body any thoughts that are coming up, and without engaging in those thoughts, without trying to understand the content of the thoughts, just observe the quality. Is your mind erratic? Is it really calm? And it doesn't matter what you're thinking at this time, just be aware that thinking is happening to you. And that is okay. We are not trying to stop thinking happening to you, but merely train your mind to pay attention on the thing that you choose to pay attention on, not what it chooses for you. And so, normally, when a thought happens, our mind shifts our awareness to that thought, and we start to inspect the thought, to rationalize it, and to create more thoughts based on that thought. For example, I'm sitting in meditation. What am I going to eat tonight? Thought. When meditating, ah, thinking is happening, so you realize it's happening, and then you move it back to the object of meditation, the touch sensation of the breath, and then keep it there. And another thought, hmm, what should I do tomorrow? Ah, thinking is happening, and bring it back to the touch sensation. What I mean by engaging with the thought is what we don't want to do in the meditative state or to achieve the meditative state or in a state of meditation is what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Primary thought. 
maybe I will have a lovely salad. That's the secondary thought. What can I put in the salad? Another thought on the thought of the thought, and so on and so forth. This is engaging with the thoughts. So, with any of these senses that we might encounter, thoughts, maybe we hear a sound. What's that sound? Could it be that's engaging with the sound? We don't want to do this. What we merely want to do is as whenever our mind has wandered away from our object of meditation, in this case the touch sensation of the natural breathing process, we just bring it back. Mind has wandered, ah, bring it back. Mind has wandered, ah, bring it back. And just keep doing this. And every time you do this, you're essentially um, strengthening the neural pathways that are involved in attention, involved in bringing your attention back, involved in being aware that your mind has wandered. And this is essentially like the flex. So every time you do this, you're flexing. You know? So if you imagine the weight being the resistance, yeah. so your mind resisting the thing that you wanted to do at that time, yeah. so bouncing around from sense to sense to thought to thought, yeah. that's the weight. And as soon as the weight has pulled the arm down, we realize the arm has been pulled down and maybe pull it back up and pull it back up. And so with every repetition, you will be able to Notice that your mind has wandered sooner. You will be able to bring it back easier and faster, and it'll be less sticky, so to say. And you'll be able to hold it on the thing, the object that you choose for longer periods of time. And so, as a whole, you will gain more control of where you focus your attention. And essentially, you will gain more control of how you perceive your reality and where you focus your energy on what is important to you. Yeah? you your mind is always screening your environment and asking itself this question, is this important, should I be focusing on this? And when it deems something as important, it shifts your entire awareness to that single thing. And we want to be able to then take control of this. And so we can invest our energy in the things that are important to us. And not focus on things like negative thought patterns. You know. We allow them to exist, but we don't focus on them and give them importance. It's just a thought. Thinking is happening. You are not that thought. It is something that happens to you. Very much like a sound happens to you. So, every time our mind wanders, we just gently bring it back. Gently, without judgment, without, damn it, thinking again. No, that's fine. It'll always happen. That's fine. It's natural. Just keep bringing it back time and time again. This is the essence of the breath awareness practices. So, breath awareness one will be split into three steps. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. First step, after checking in with our bodies, with our minds, and with our natural breath. Again, it doesn't matter if it's deep, shallow, fast or slow. Just be aware that the breath is happening as it comes in and as it goes out. And once we've done this little check-in, we are going to start the first step of Breath Awareness 1. And that's a controlled breathing exercise. Yeah. And this has a very specific purpose to calm the body, calm the mind and get it ready for meditation. And it's also a little task that you'll give your mind to do to kind of you know, get it focused and also get it ready to for you to start to use it consciously. So, this first task is always breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, and into the belly or the solar plexus. Yeah? We're going to breathe in for, let's say, a count of four seconds. And you can count, if you wish, in your mind, in the beginning. It can help. So, one, two, three, four. 
and then exhale. One, two, three, four. Again, inhale. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale. One, two, three, four. And now exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're essentially doing is lengthening the duration of the exhalation while the duration of the inhalation remains the same. So you're essentially emptying your lungs of any buildup of carbon dioxide that you haven't breathed out properly. Yeah? And we don't want to suffocate ourselves here. <laughs> so what you want to do is slow down the exhalation, not breathe more out. Because if you keep breathing in the same amount and trying to breathe more out, you're going to end up yeah, in a very uncomfortable situation. So um, we can just con constrict the back of our throat a little bit to sort of lengthen that exhalation, make it come out a bit slower. Yeah? And really empty the lungs. So that's the first step of Breath Awareness 1. Lengthening the exhalation while the inhalation remains the same. You may count if you wish. And when you find that maximum comfortable exhalation, just stay there. It can be 4 seconds, 5 seconds, 6 seconds, 7, 8, doesn't matter. Just wherever you feel comfortable, just stay there when you reach that point and keep repeating that. Yeah. So the second step, there'll be a little bell. And you're going to again just let go of control of the breath. And just check in on your body. So without trying to rationalize or figure anything out, we just want to see how does my body feel? Has anything happened to my natural breath? And the quality of my thoughts, have they slowed down? Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. Um, but we'll just check in again. And this is just really for a minute or two. And then we'll start the second step of breath awareness one which is observing the touch sensation that is caused by the natural breathing process and observing the touch sensation of the entire breathing process so when you inhale you're going to feel some stimulation around here somewhere probably on the entrance of the nose and then you're going to follow it up, and it doesn't matter which nostril it is, just follow that touch sensation up the nose to the top of the nose, and then down into the mouth cavity, yeah? down the throat, into the chest, to the belly, and when you lose touch of it around here, you can observe the expansion of the belly on the inhalation, the contraction, on the exhalation, and then the touch sensation of the breath rising back up inside yeah, and out. Yeah. So, and not with your hand, yeah, but just observing the touch sensation that's caused by the air making contact with the body on the outside and then on the inside. Yeah. So, as the air comes in, expand, contraction as the air goes out. The touch sensation, don't visualize this, but feel it. And just keep doing this. Um, and then we're going to jump straight into the third step of Breath Awareness 1. And that is observing a single point of touch sensation that is caused by the natural breathing process as the air makes contact with the skin, either on the inside of the body or out. So this can be anywhere. Um, it can be anywhere around the entrance of the nose, inside the nose, or below the nose, um, above the upper lip. So this is called the cutaneous upper lip. And anywhere over there is fine. Just a single point of touch sensation. So let's say it's here. Here, it doesn't matter where it is, wherever you feel it the most is best. 
This keeps your mind engaged with the touch sensation and stops the mind from wandering. Um, so you pick your place, and if you can't really feel the sensation at first, do a few sharp breaths. You can always do this. So, like push the breath out, push, push, push. And that will stimulate that touch sensation. And when you feel it, just focus on it. Single point of touch sensation. As the air comes in and as the air goes out. And whenever the mind wanders, ooh, okay. I can't wait till this. Oh, mind has wandered, just bring it back. Oh, mind has wandered, just bring it back. Oh, mind has wandered, just bring it back. And that is the practice of breath awareness one. So, to recap, first step, check in. Natural breath, mind, body. Then, start the first step, lengthening the exhalation one second at a time while the inhalation remains the same. You may count if you wish. Second step, check in. Let go of control of the breath. Body, breath, mind. Then, observing the touch sensation of the full natural breathing process, so your automatic breathing process, not controlling the breathing. Just observing the touch as the air comes in. Expansion of the belly on the inhalation, contraction on the exhalation, back out as the air comes in, and as the air goes out. Third step, single point of touch sensation, either around the entrance of the nose, inside the nose, or below the nose, on above the upper lip, on the cutaneous upper lip. <laughs> when the mind wanders, bring it back. When the mind wanders, bring it back. Gently, kindly. Keep doing this, and you will start to feel the benefits of meditation. So remember I said before that meditation is not a relaxation technique. You will feel more relaxed, you will feel more focused when you practice this on a regular basis. Don't expect magical results the first time, just like any kind of exercise. It takes time. Patience and persistence is the key. Keep doing this and you will start to have those things in your life. But do not do this with the objective with the intention to calm down, simply because you're not always going to be able to calm yourself down with this specific technique. And when you don't, you're going to feel disappointed. And med coming out of meditation with a feeling of disappointment that your expectations have not been fulfilled, this is very counterproductive. And so our aim, our objective is merely to observe. Observe with a little bit of childish curiosity. What is this breathing process? What is this touch sensation? So purely observe. So, in, um, when you're ready to practice, um, go on to the next video and there will be um, the Breath Awareness 1 practice with the bells and um, a little bit of um, simplified instruction. Good luck.